if you watch my last week's ASMR video, then you know the figurine haul I made was just a little sneak peek of what was going to come. I thought we're gonna continue this little series for a while now, just unboxing, unpackaging, and a little bit of reviewing these figurines, just because I think it's so relaxing myself to watch. The first figurine we're going to unbox is Arthas Menethil, the Lich King. This is maybe the biggest reason to why I bought this set of figurines, except from Garrosh and Scream. And this box is in a really good condition, so I'm really happy. It comes with the figurine of Arthax, the Frostmourne, and a icy base that he stands on. So this is really a nice figurine. Here on the box, you can see it says Horthas Menethil, the Lich King, Deluxe Collector's Edition, World of Warcraft, Action Figure. This is a licensed Blizzard Entertainment product made by DC Unlimited. Even though I went through this in my last video, we can go over it again. So, from the Series 7 action figurines, we have Garona, Gorm Whitefang, a Worgen, Yanch Malthred, a Paladin, and the Series 3 premium figurines, Tastingo, Garrosh Hellscream, and Arthas the Lich King. So I thought we're gonna open this together and just go through it. So sit back and relax. Thanks. As you might see, the box and the plastic that makes it see-through, so you can actually see the figurine, is a bit reflective. You might see some of my setup with the microphone or use me here in the back. So we're gonna open this up. I'm probably having to edit out a lot of noises because this will be pretty loud. But let's sit back and relax it for a bit. So I finally got it out of the box. It took way more manpower than I remembered the first time I opened it can see here is the stand the figurine has that I was talking about that looks like a patch of eyes. The frost moon is powdered into two pieces but I kept it in his hand just to make it a bit easier for myself. So it comes in four parts right the character two parts of frost moon and the icy patch. Let's open it up as well. Hopefully, you can see a bit better now, but the background of this box is the Lich King's undead army back in Ice Crown from the intro cinematic. And I think it's really nice how well made these boxes are. It's a whole theatrical piece in my opinion. Here is the first piece. When I got these, they were covered in a thick layer of dust. I don't think they have been used for years and years and years. So this entire piece was almost grey. I took some wet wipes and carefully tried to remove the layer of dust. And as you can see, it has this really beautiful icy blue and white color. This little plug is for the character to stand on. But it really looks like eyes, even from the underside. Here we can see this is 
from the intro-cinematic of the Wrath of the Lich King expansion, where Orthas, the Lich King, plunges with the sword Frostmourne into the ice to revive the dragons in Ragosa as an undead dragon. Here is the larger part of Frostmourne. It is really thin, quite sharp actually, but you can see the runes on both sides and they are painted in a dark blue, almost cobalt color. So is the skull of the sword. The eyes are blue and the nose part And here is the main man in question. You can see the handle of the frost moon. He was very difficult to clean up since he was so covered in dust as well. But it's a really nice piece that I'm going to assemble. So here is the Orthas Menethil, the Lich King figurine, all assembled. See Frostmoon in his hand, and from the intro cinematic, he all sits up this way. You can see the wind taking his cape, blowing it to the side, and also the pieces of his loin cloth covering his lower region, and in standing on a block of ice over a nice crown. This is a very nice figurine. You can see on his shoulder pieces are some spiked armor. He has the helm of domination with the cobalt blue crystal between his eyes. On this model you can even see that his eyes are painted either white or a really light cobalt paint as well. He is wearing some really nice chain mail. The detail of this figurine is so nice. You can see how it's sculpted to show a cloth back armor, leather gloves, chain mail armor. Under the arms is even a scale mail armor. And then the plate armor. His boots are covered in what looks like to be fur to keep warm. I really like in these older characters of the lore how they really were thinking out the armor not just to look good but to be practical. Even the handle of the frost moon has leather covering look so it would be nicer to hold I'm really happy to have this figurine this is something I dreamed about when I was younger and now I'm happy to say that I'm achieving my childhood dreams even as an adult the color is a really light gold silver and it has a really heavy black wash that makes it look aged and a bit more gothic. I really hope you enjoyed this video. These ones will be a little bit shorter. I have been sick again and I'm planning on talking on that in a future video. I'm really happy to all of you who continues to watch my content. I have ordered even more art books and strategy guides that I'm really looking forward to show you. But right now I need to prioritize my health and I will make some shorter videos in the meanwhile. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon again.